oceans apart. So, um, okay, on this one. so um, I, again, I'm going to try and hold this so I can get the feedback. So, um, oceans apart. Um, is that, is this, have we got the? That was. Yeah, I, I didn't make it. Yeah. But I'm to make it yes. So, any feedback I can give to the So I would begin with the same message I gave to the last film, which is who's your audience and what's the story. So, and, and, and sometimes, you know, we all start to make a film for different reasons, and Kate was asking how you made this film and why. Can I ask you, um, what was the background for making this film? Yeah, we had a film. We had a, a film on location, a film at Bristol Docks. So we all went down there for an afternoon, on a whole day, like lunch break, and people were asked to film on the docks and then make a film for the competition afterwards. So rather than make this film, film so <coughs> Well, it's very interesting because that's exactly what we thought you'd done. <laughs> because we thought you've got two films here. Hold it the other way around. We thought you've got two separate films. And um, I have to say that as it opened and we were seeing all those beautiful shots of the SS Great Britain and the docks, and I thought I was feeling really, really excited. This is going to be a really interesting film about the SS Great Britain. And then um, suddenly we cut to this big liner um, and um, I, it felt to me as if we had two films that we were going backwards and forwards to, and the rationale for, for putting them together didn't come across clearly in the film, so clearly enough for, for me to follow. Um, I, I, so I would ask, would they be better as two separate films? Um, you had some lovely... Um, visual images. I, I love the shots at the opening of the SS Great Britain on, on the water. Um, where we did get to comparing them, um, some of the comparisons weren't, they weren't direct comparisons. So if it was a comparison film, I want to know why are we comparing the SS Great Britain specifically with this other liner? And what was the um, comparison we were trying to make? We're saying it's more luxurious now or, or what? Because we um, I was thinking I would have rather had a cruise on the SS Great Britain, possibly, because it wasn't necessarily and my me. idea <laughs> of a cruise with that much. So I was asking yes. what, it, what, what the comparison was. I, I, but there were some beautiful shots, especially you know on the liner, and, and as I say, it was it was the photography was lovely. Um, so um, I don't want to, to take up all of the space, but that, that would be my <coughs> the purpose. My key messages, I think, from all of these, almost all of these films today is what's the purpose of the film and the audience, and sometimes less can be more. Right, I know I mentioned close-ups earlier on. Um, you're not using close-ups here, are you, on this camera? So I have reached a certain age now where I, I look better from way back. But um, I don't agree with Tessa. I, I, I think um, the two... The two comparison was a very, very good idea. And it's, it's a nice title, Oceans Apart. It's a lovely title. But I, but I don't think you, you did enough to show the, 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 the I was going to say Titanic, then it's the SS Great Britain. But the SS Great Britain was a very luxurious uh, boat in its time, wasn't it? Ship in its time. Um, but I think the comparison more. And again, zoom, zoom, that's one of my things, zoom, and close-ups. You had an opportunity to shoot loads of things, and you shot those dreadful dummies down on the SS, you know, things like photographs. That there's so much on the SS Great Britain and around the docks to shoot, and even on the liner. I mean, as much as I dislike <laughs> going on a cruise, I think. But I, I suddenly saw that lift going up, which I thought was wonderful. Why weren't you inside? You should have been inside the lift. You would have got a wonderful, sh like a crane shot going up in that lift. And that must have been interesting because we never went up on board, on the top, did we? They weren't playing quoits and things. And we didn't see the sea, I think. It was all underground. I thought at first we'd gone to the mall in um, Cribs Causeway. I thought we went from the SS Great Britain to a, a shopping mall. That's what it looked like. But um, no, nice, nice idea, but I think it could have been exploited more. That's really all I've got to say. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think Alan and Tessa really said most of it, but I, I would... Um, when it started, I thought that it was beautifully set up as we glide in and we'd get straight to our subject um, and 
there's a personal nar narrative set up. You know, you feel this is a filmmaker who knows the subject, and you're taken right in there, and it goes along nicely. Bit, the visual is a bit static around the SS Great Britain, but it's a fantastic subject and it's very interesting. Um, it was delivered very informatively, and then we jump into this world. And I, like Alan, I didn't don't know if he even saw the sea. So at that stage, I would have really liked the personal commentary to go further and say, you know, what do we think of this? We're on this place. Um, and really push the comparisons much more than... So be, you could go back and you could just revoice the whole thing if you wanted to as an exercise within the film club and see what happens if you just push those comparisons. Um, because at the moment it just feels quite contrived. It's trying to bolt these two films together and it doesn't completely come off, really. Um, so I think you could go back and you could state your intentions at the beginning of, of the film. Say, you know, started off making a film about the SS Great Britain... I had the opportunity to make a film aboard the cruise ship and I'm going to compare them. If you set out your stall at the beginning, um, you can then let your pictures do your talking for you, really, and you don't have to say quite so much in your voiceover. Um, but it's an interesting starting point and some lovely work. And as a group exercise, I think it's, it's obviously worked really well. It was very successful, that film that you did on location in Bristol. And lovely I, title. Great title. Well, I was going to add that the opening titles were, were excellent. So it just had a really strong opening. It was, that was very, very well done. And the hmm. font was small, and it wasn't a lot of... Yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> so, so well done again. So really good, really, really interesting, beautiful. Well done. And the set... And <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I should say, the narration was very good, and the sound was very good as well. Yeah. Hmm.